Shemot, Exodus 13. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whatsoever opens the womb among the children of Yasharael, both of man and of beast. It is mine. And Moshe said unto the people, Remember at this day, in which ye came out from Mitzrayim, out of the house of bondage. For by strength of hand, Yahuwah brought you out from this place. There shall no chametz be eaten. This day came ye out in the month Aviv. And it shall be when Yahuwah shall bring you into the land of the Kenaim and the Chittim and the Emarim, and the Chivim, and the Yavuchim, which he swore unto your fathers to give you, a land flowing with milk and honey, that you shall keep at this service in this month. Seven days you shall eat matzah, and in the seventh day shall be a feast to Yahuwah. Matzah shall be eaten at seven days, and there shall no kamets be seen with you. Neither shall there be leaven seen with you in all your quarters. And you shall show your son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which Yahuwah did unto me when I came forth out of Mitzrayim. And it shall be for a sign unto you upon your hand, and for a memorial between your eyes, that Yahuwah's Torah may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand has Yahuwah brought you out of Mitzrayim. You shall therefore guard at this ordinance in his appointed time, from year to year. And it shall be when Yahuwah shall bring you into the land of the Canaanim, as he swore unto you and to your fathers, and shall give it you, that you shall set apart unto Yahuwah all that open the womb, and every firstling that comes of a beast which you have. The males shall be Yahuas, and every firstling of an ass you shall redeem with a lamb, and if you will not redeem it, then you shall break his neck, and all the firstborn of man among your children shall you redeem. And it shall be when your son's rather son asks you in the time, in time to come, saying, What is this? that you shall say unto him, By strength of hand, Yahuwah brought us out from Mitzrayim, from the house of bondage. And it came to pass, when Pharaoh would hardly let us go, that Yahuwah slew all the firstborn in the land of Mitzrayim, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. Therefore I sacrifice to Yahuwah, all that opens the womb, being males, but all the firstborn of my children I redeem. And it shall be for a mark upon your hand, and for frontlets between your eyes, for by strength of hand Yahuwah brought us forth out of Mitzrayim. And it came to pass, when Pharaoh had let at the people go, that Elohim led them not through the way of the land of the Peleshitim, although that was near. For Elohim said, Lest perchance the people repent when they see war, and they return to Mitzrayim. But Elohim led at the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea, and the children of Yasharael went up harnessed, out of the land of Mitzrayim. And Moshe took at the bones of Yosef with him, 
for he had straightly sworn at the children of Yasharael, saying, Elohim will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up at my bones away hence with you. And they took their journey from Kukoth, and encamped in Atam, in the edge of the wilderness. And Yahuwah went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people.